If big bold watches with lots of functionality is your thing, then these two models from Ball might be of interest to you. Today we're covering a Pepsi colorway GMT and also a very large and in charge chronograph. And as you've noticed, both have that patented Ball crown guard system that we're gonna get into in the review. First up, we have the Ball Engineer Hydrocarbon Aero GMT in this Pepsi configuration that we know and love. Before I put it on the wrist, what are you wearing today? I was wearing, before I took it off, the Maurice de Moriac L3 Seas Red, and now I'm putting on this Pepsi GMT. Now this watch was designed specifically for commercial air pilots for whom legibility and visibility is key. So this is, has a claim to fame, as the world's brightest GMT bezel. Now what that means is beneath this sapphire inset in the bezel, we have micro gas tubes that light up like a Christmas tree at night. Now the tricks behind that loom are tritium gas tubes, H3 gas tubes that we've talked about a lot before. They're quite neat. Now the high tech style of the loom on this watch is matched by its specs. We have shock resistance up to 7,500 Gs and we have 60 gauss of magnetic resistance. Now the specs are key here because this watch is big and it wears big. The model I'm wearing today is 40 millimeters and it has a blue dial. There is also a black dial available in 42 millimeters. Now this one is 40 millimeters, but 42.8 when I measure including the bezel with my calipers and it has a lug to lug of 55 millimeters which is large. What helps that size is the way that the lugs camber and hug the wrist. It actually is comfortable despite those larger sizes. In terms of weight, a big consideration. You need to be ready for a hefty watch. This is 206 grams on the wrist, which for some is perfect. It's a solid feeling watch for sure. Now, another key stat is how this 42 millimeter reference wears on the wrist. It is 13.85 millimeters high, or sitting proud of the wrist as you can see there. The watch has 100 meters of water resistance and is powered by the Ball RR1201C movement, which is in fact an ETA 2893-2 that has been tweaked to be COSC certified. That movement runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour and has 42 hours of power reserve. So what do we have here? We have a very large and in charge Ball watch in a very trendy colorway that has all of the hallmarks of a luxury watch in the way that it sits on the wrist. It is heavy, it is solid. The build quality of the bracelet is strong and solid. The clasp is like a bank vault. This is a big watch. Of course, we have that patented ball crown protection system, which takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's quite neat. You know, this watch has a lot of presence and it has a lot of loom. If that's your thing, this one could be for you. Now, the second watch we're talking about is the Ball Engineer Hydrocarbon NEDU. First question, what does that acronym stand for? Any guesses? The Navy Experimental Diving Unit is the answer. And it is more than just a name. That unit was involved in designing this watch, in particular, the bezel. And I'm guessing that that has a lot to do with this heavily notched and serrated bezel with sharp edges so that you can turn this bezel very, very easily, and I imagine very easily with gloves too. This watch was first released in 2012, and it's presented here in a grade five titanium case, which is known for its corrosion resistant properties. You might think that this being a titanium case, it's going to be super light on the wrist. However, given the size and heft of the watch, it is still clocking in at 206 grams. The other vital stats here are that it is 42 millimeters wide without the bezel, and 17.6 millimeters thick. I'm just gonna give it a quick measure with the bezel on from the outside of the crown and we clock in at 49.2 across. So this is definitely, like I said in that intro, it is large and in charge. Of course, being a Navy model, we have 600 meters of water resistance and we have that patented crown guard system. Now this newly designed bezel with help from the NEDU is accompanied by either a black dial or a gradient blue with red highlights. Now this watch is powered by the Ball RR1402C movement, which is an automatic chronograph caliber and it's based on the ETA 7750. However, it has been tweaked up to cost certification. 
So what do we have in this watch? It's a serious piece of kit. Now grade five titanium is a very high quality version of titanium. And we also have, again, these tritium tubes ensuring maximum luminosity when you need it at night. So a Pepsi GMT unlike the others and a very serious piece of submarine kit. Two watches that are not for the faint of heart. Thanks for watching Time and Tide.